Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial series, we will learn about Spring Boot and how Spring Boot works. So in this part, we will learn how Spring Boot auto configuration work. So you have heard about Spring does all the configuration automatic, be it Spring Web, Spring Security of, or if you are applying Spring Data JPA. So you don't need to done any configuration and you just need to write annotation and all Spring does is doing automatically in the background so we'll learn about it how does spring do this and how auto configuration works so let's get started so how spring auto configuration works so basically auto config annotation is defined in the main java class using annotation at the rate spring boot application yeah so you must have seen it whenever you create a spring boot project be it using spring initializer or spring starter in IntelliJ or STS. So you see, whenever you create a Spring Boot project, there is a main Java class file and we annotate it with at the rate Spring Boot application. So if you haven't created the Spring Boot project in the above bar, you will see a pop-up where I have already shown you how to create Spring Boot project and how there are multiple ways through which we can create a Spring Boot project. So coming back to auto configuration, we have created a Spring Boot project and where our main Java class file we have annotated an annotation at the rate Spring Boot application. So behind this there are several other annotation or configuration what we earlier do. So in my previous Spring series, Core Spring series, I have shown you guys how all these configuration we are doing up. So earlier we will be doing up with the XML based and then annotational based. So in at the rate spring boot application we see all those configuration has been written up there so let's move to the code part and see how this at the rate spring boot application work so i'm just opening my project i have created some spring boot projects and i'm just going to open the main java class file and show you there Okay, so I have opened my STS Spring Tool Suit ID in which I have created a Spring Boot project and I'm just going to open my main Java class file. Okay, so you see we have annotated it with at the rate Spring Boot application annotation and I will just click on this control click or in Mac OS command click and it will open me the main interface of Spring Boot application dot class. So here we can see that it has also used at the rate enable auto configuration at the rate component scan. So earlier, if you remember what we do is we do at the rate component scan and auto configuration in our core Spring application where component scan will scan all those components where our annotations will be use and now i'll be clicking on this at the rate enable auto configuration annotation so we can see that it has used the annotation at the rate import auto configuration package now i'll just go to my previous annotation class spring boot application and i'll just click on this at the rate spring boot configuration annotation and we can see at the rate configuration has been used so we use this at the rate configuration annotation earlier to you know set up our configuration or our main configuration or application config class where we will be you know using our all those beans and all specific drivers beans or web beans or theme leaf beans or dispatchers beans okay so spring boot application or this annotation what we use at the rate spring boot application is internally doing what we early are doing manually so in this developer just make uh, makes us ease for us like we just need to write at the rate spring boot application all those config components scan and configuration will be done automatically so this is how at the rate spring boot application work now coming back to how auto configuration works and see how all those you know jars we just import and how, how all those dependencies automatically work let's see 
so whenever you use a spring boot project you must have imported several dependencies or selected several dependencies be it uh, using at the web interface in spring starter projects or spring initializer you must have you know just select those check boxes where you just select the check boxes suppose you wanted to have spring web security or spring data jpa or spring boot dev tools or any dependency of choice so all those dependencies are the starter poms poms are ba basically project object model so we use some maven concepts here so we use some of the dependencies like spring boot starter security for security or spring security purpose we use spring starter web for spring web based usage we use spring starter jdbc if we if i wanted to you know connect my application with database we use spring starter data jpa if i wanted to make use of jpa annotations we use spring starter test if i wanted to add you know test dependency or test framework to my project so these are all the starter poms and behind this they you know if i include the spring starter web then using this starter web perm all those included jars that web needs uh, be it jackson json or any spring web jars it will automatically include using this starter perm and after i include all these starter perm there is one more starter perm or there is one jar sorry not the starter perm there is one jar that spring includes that is the auto configuration jar so in that auto configuration jar all those things what we do in auto configuration or what the spring do automatically has been done there so those jars has been automatically you know imported in our project by using the starter poms okay so inside those jars what i have told you auto config jar there is meta inf folder inside meta inf folder there is one file spring dot factories so inside that spring dot factories whatever auto configuration or whatever jars we have selected or enabled those auto configuration jar uh, classes has been written so you will see what all you know dependencies or starter poms i have selected in my poms and according to that poms or start or uh, according to that poms what all dependencies has been enabled okay so in this spring dot factories we will see what all auto configurable classes has been enabled so moving forward let's just go to our code and see how it has been done so again i have opened my spring tool suit so i'll be showing you up my pom.xml first so you can see i have imported several starter dependencies be it spring starter security starter web starter jdbc data jpa starter tomcat test so i'm just going to open one starter dependencies let's open starter web so you just need to click control click in windows and command click to just open any dependency or any class just need to highlight your cursor just control click or command click and it will open its relative dependencies so in spring starter web we can see it has already imported spring boot starter json tomcat spring web the web dependency the web mvc dependency we use for web mc spring web mvc framework and all those dependencies so let's see what spring web, web mvc and all the starter has inside this so inside spring boot starter json it has several other dependencies like spring web jackson data bind jackson and jackson module parameters inside spring web let's see what all other dependencies it has spring bean spring core so in this way spring starter pom automatically you know include all those dependencies all those jars okay inside it okay so that's the you know feature of spring boot like if we import those starter dependencies using poms and then it will automatically add all those charts in your project resources folder in libraries or not the resources in libraries so i'm just going to my maven dependencies using starter what i have included so you can see i have included all those starter and from the starter dependencies all those charts and libraries has been automatically imported so the one library that i have already talked about is the auto configured 
i'm just going to open this so yeah spring boot auto configured so i'm just going to open this so we can see there are different classes that are going to auto configurable in spring so here the meta inf folder so inside meta inf folder there is one file spring dot factories so in this file we can see the auto configure so we can see we have enabled auto configuration i have earlier at the start of the video showed you how the auto configuration works so we are, have shown you this enable auto configuration class okay so we have used it for auto configuration we have data auto configurations we have for mongo auto configurations are there mongo data auto configurations and we have jdbc jackson data source auto configurations has been imported we have security auto configuration that has been imported timely for their timely photo configuration has been imported so you can see spring automatically does import all those dependencies whenever we include our starter pom so there is one auto configurable jar that includes all those dependency in it spring dot factory along with this auto config jar there is one auto configure high test hyphen auto configure jar so you can see test hyphen auto configure jar so in this also there is one meta inf folder and inside this spring dot factories and inside this whatever you know test frameworks we wanted to include spring also does include all those configurable auto configurable classes so in this way spring does the auto configuration so i have shown you how that annotation works and how behind the scenes that auto configuration works okay and inside all those starter pomps how those dependencies just just automatically you know import and just we don't have to configure anything in the xml files we just need to write annotation and all our auto configuration automatically get started and work so that's it for guys in this video we have learned about how spring boot auto configuration work so that's it for today guys thank you and be subscribed to my channel and this playlist tutorial so in next video we will learn about more spring boot features so that's it for today thank you guys